The following video is rated PG-13, which may contain scenes and themes unsuitable for viewers under 13. I just found a new doctor that I interviewed. I'm glad I bumped into you all. You must be Kieran. Tash? Tash. Tash, can you hear me? Wake up. Timothy Reed was here at our house. He threatens to cut all our throats slit open. What? I think Tim is trying to kill me. You're right. But it's the truth. Tim thinks I was spying on the Iron Dogs on the night we got to the beach house for the wedding preparations. I have something to say to you. Are you ready? Ready for what? What am I supposed to be ready for? The plan is that we have to go out camping. Wait, what about our parents? Well, we don't have to come with them. Where are the kids? Wait, they might have gone camping without our permission. We need to find them before they get into danger. This is the spot. Wow, it looks beautiful. Now let's get cooking. This is getting ridiculous. Those kids could be anywhere. Well, they can't have gone that far. Probably they've gone out to a friend's house. Liar! You said that they were out camping. They were, but they must have hurried back home because they were too scared that they're going to get attacked. Wait, can you see something burning? A fire pit. I think that's them. Come on. Male, mid-twenties, stabbed in the stomach point-blank. He's losing a lot of blood and we gave him a milligram of adrenaline and some morphine. Straight to recess. Okay guys, nice and smooth transfer. On my account. One, two, three. Yuck, nasty wounds. I think it's a flesh wound. It hurts. It freaking hurts. We know mate. Just try to keep still for us. Okay. Need a hand? Yes, you check the wound site. He's still losing a lot of blood. We have to book him for surgery tomorrow. Why tomorrow? This patient could die at any minute. Just concentrate on the patient. We can't lose him now. Kieran, we have three more patients coming in. Do you mind holding the fort? Sure thing. But what about Natasha? How is she doing? No word yet. Where's Callum? He's in ED, we're doing the best we can to save him. Just do what you have to do and don't let him die, if he dies. Mr. Crockett, please remain calm. How can I be calm? Don't you know what Ira is going through? She lost her daughter thanks to the Iron Dogs, and now I'm concerned that Callum will end up exactly like her. Fortunately, don't allow visitors at this moment. We'll let you know how Callum is. Good morning, kids. Whoa! I didn't realize you had company last night. Is that your, um, oh, girlfriend? Well, no. Tyler invited me to stay for a visit. Well, you and Tyler both slept together. So this proves that you're Tyler's girlfriend. If Nicole was still here, she'd go insane. Sorry. Bad joke. Indeed. So where's the toast? It's in the fridge. I mean, I just don't get it. Why would you put a slice of bread or toast in a fridge? That's just stupid. It's called frozen toast. Frozen toast. Yeah. You put the ingredients for your sandwich, then put it in the fridge, and then take a bite. Thank you, Damien. I wouldn't dare to eat it unless I want to. Whoa. What? Where am I? It's okay, Tash. You're in the hospital bed. You fainted, remember? How did this happen? I thought I was fit enough to work during the night shift. Maybe it's because you were overtired. I am not surprised, because some of our other staff were too tired to handle the late hours and fainted. So I guess I'm not the only one. No, but you might have to take some antibiotics to recover fast. We'll check you up later. Tom, 
A word, please? Do you really think this is okay, working in a night shift? What? Night shifts are a common thing in this hospital. Yes, but do you know the effects of all-night work? These people are working all night, and some of them are so tired that they can't get up on their feet. This can't go on, Tom. You have to do something about it. I wish, but I don't have a magic wand to get rid of night shifts. If I do, our hospital won't get enough money and funding for night shift payments. Then what are we supposed to do, Tom? Suffer? Durant, I am your boss. You need to treat me with respect and dignity, and the least you could do is get back to work. Okay? Morning. Gee, that party must have been a good one. Tell me about it. I've hardly counted sheeps. Okay look, have you seen Xavier anywhere? I've looked around the house. How would I know? I thought Xavier was sleeping his head off all morning. Well, okay, but we don't have to panic about disappearing for too long. Hey, where the heck is Xavier? I don't know. I thought he was at the party last night. Or maybe he's off shopping somewhere. Look! There he is. I can see him over there. Finally. Where have you been? I thought you went missing. What? I was hiding outside the house the whole time. I just didn't want you guys to get worried about me. Well, now that you're here, why don't we go to the mall and buy some stuff? Sure, bring it. I mean, this should have never happened. Why would our kids go camping all by themselves? This was all my fault. Your fault? What are you trying to tell me, Arthur? The kids asked me if they wanted to go camping, but they said no and did it anyway. I should have never left them on their own. Exactly. And if those kids die, you'll be to blame. We just got our blood results back for Patrick, Ziggy, and Daisy. And? It says that the kids were full of scars matching those of a zombie, which could mean that a zombie attacked them. A zombie? They went camping on their own at night in a forest called the Forest of Haunted Spirits. It's where all monsters would come up and try to hurt or kill those who go near it at night. So that's it, right? Are our kids going to die? I can't rule out the possibility of their recovery at the moment, but I'm hoping that it will happen sooner rather than later. That's all I can't tell you. I mean, I just don't understand. Jake is a good kid. He's just been discharged from the hospital and this is what he did? Jake did not get discharged. He escaped the hospital. What? Escaped? How? I don't know. He just vanished, that's all. So Jake only escaped the hospital just to try to kill my son? Do you know how painful it was when I lost Scarlet? We get it Eva. But, you have to know that Jake is the son of Timothy, whom I believe was involved with the Iron Dogs. So do you think that Jake was part of the Iron Dogs too? We don't know that. But you must. Timothy let his son hurt Callum, and he's manipulative. I have to do something to stop him. But what's the point? He'll just smirk and gloat. I don't care. He's still gonna get it for what he did to Callum, and I'm gonna get justice for him. Finn? Well, looks like we didn't need a search party after all. Yeah! All Xavier was doing was hiding just so he would try to get worried. Is there anything we can do today? Maybe, go check the fridge. Great, there's nothing to- What's that? It's a book. A book? Really? Who would put a book in our fridge? Legend has it that a poor animal has to end its suffering with murder and cold blood. Then I must do it for her. Wait a minute, that's the quote from Susan's attacker. What are we going to do? We need a hand here. What happened? I just found Justine collapsed on the floor. Her pupils are dilated and she's struggling to breath. Does this have anything to do with the night shift? I think so. Straight to eat D. Go. Ah, Finn. This is a lovely surprise. Cut the crap in. I'm done playing your stupid games. What have you done to Callum? I haven't done anything to him. Though, I like it about my son being hooked up with a gang. 
your son, did Jake stab Callum, only because he was spying on the Iron Dogs? I wouldn't wonder, because you were involved with that gang. Tim, don't even think about Lane, I know your son was a gang member too. You stay out of it. Why? So you could go on and ruin everyone's lives? You can never win this Tim. We'll see about that. I have more power than you ever have. You think you could outsmart me? You can't. If you go anywhere near my family. Then what? You'll throw me to the cops. They did look to me once, and I don't want to let that happen again. If you want to get justice for Callum, you'll have to get through me first. You just try. I am still going to prove that you are more trouble than what it's worth. Are you happy now, Tom? Geraint, what has gotten into you? One of our senior staff has fainted because of the overtiredness. She is diabetic and her sugar level is dropping. I know that. And, and what? Why didn't you do anything about the night shift? This has made a lot of people really tired and unable to sleep. Because of you, you let us work the night, and we can't handle it. Tash was the lucky one because she had a strong immune system, except Justine. Jorane, could you please keep your voice down? No. I want you to scrap night shifts. Most of your staff is not handling it anymore. You have to put an end. Jorane, stop it. You need to treat your boss with respect, or I'll place you under suspension. Go ahead, fire me all you want, but this won't stop me from getting what I want. If you don't do something about the way you manage your shifts for your staff, I'll have no choice but to step down. Again, there's a revolution happening outside the hospital, and you're gonna be foiled.